Well, Tis, what do you think? What? Something new with your outfit, Mort? Did you enchant a new cloak? Oh, wait, it's the gloves. Oh, no, no, no. You shine your mask, didn't you? <laughs> Aha. It's the armor. Don't you see? It's the armor. The spellbinder armor. I've enchanted it. it upgraded myself. It's actually better than the Dwemer armor I was using before. I think this armor is actually specially made for spellcasters. Yes, that's why it's called Spellbinder Armor. Ah, well. This is probably what I was really thinking of when I was talking to you about wearing armor and looking awesome. It does look quite nice. And of course, we enchanted it to have magical regeneration a bit better than before. We're still wearing the same gloves and boots, but when we have more soul gems with grand souls, we'll have new gloves and boots to match. Anyway, I think we're done here in Iverstead. We have lots of things to do, some silly horn to find, and so all of that will happen after we head to Riften. How much did you enjoy exploring Nordic tombs, Mort? It's fine. Draugr are interesting enemies. Can't say that I care for the traps, but did you enjoy it? Yes, it's fine. Why? Because we have another Nordic tomb to explore. What? Where? Uh, to your left. Why? <coughs> what? Over there on that island. I believe there is a Nordic ruin there. A tomb. Really? All right, um, yes, let's go. Are you sure? Yes. I've been doing a bit of research. Apparently this area is where a famous battle mage known as Germund was entombed. Germund. I can't say that rings a bell. Do we have to... Oh, come on. Well, your armor should be waterproof. Oh! Ah! Uh. Uh. Oh! Yeah. Uh, at least it's not as cold as it could be. <sighs> Come on, everyone! Come on, Vals! Alright. Mm. Oh! Mm -hmm. I think you may be right. Of course I'm right. Germund, eh? Yes. This may be his tomb. I believe they called it Germund's Hall. So he... He was a battle mage, this Germund? A very famous one among the Nords, it seems. Which is exceptional, given how Nords hate mages in general. Alright, so... Is there anything special about this place? I'm not sure, but it has something to do with the war. We'll find out. Somehow, inside. Yeah, look there, Goldier's already preparing to delve deep. No, of course not. Yes, Goldier is not the most enthusiastic explorer of Nordic tombs. You know what is Val's find uh, yes he has more than an hour let's stretch that out oh that sounds so painful 
It's fine, Mort. He's dead. Alright. Alright. So, two hours. Hopefully, that'll be enough time so we don't have to coddle him. He's a corpse, Mort, not a baby. Alright. Germans too, me. Eh? Let's do this. How many wolves? Ah. Ah. That is a large wolf. size of that thing. It's as big as a horse. I think that's what they call a wog. Wog. <laughs> I mean... Uh, uh. Alright then, um, might as well take the stuff. Very useful. Oof. Ooh! That one had a ring probably bit it off someone's hand oh and a skeever all right well we have a bandit or some treasure hunter here and he has a book why do I feel like we should read it. Read it, Mort. Maybe there's some clue. Lost Legends of Skyrim by Talsker the Elder, Archivist of Winterhold. The history of Skyrim is vast, predating even the most ancient records of man and mare. Much has been lost, fallen to the ravages of war, or the turning of the ages. But nothing is ever truly forgotten. Where no records exist, legends and folk tales offer us a key to the past, a way to piece together truths half remembered in the minds of men. For generations, the people of Morthal have told whispered tales of the Pale Lady, a ghostly woman who wanders the northern marshes forever seeking her lost daughter. Some say she steals children who wander astray. Others that their sobbing wail strikes dead all those who hear it. But behind these tales may lie a kernel of truth, for ancient records speak of Omriel, a mysterious figure Isgamor's heirs battled for decades to finally seal the way. Richmond tell the story of Faulad Red Eagle, an ancient king who rallied his people and drove back the armies of Cyrodiil with a flaming sword. Though accounts vary, they too seem to be based on an underlying truth. The imperial chronicles of Empress Nestra mention a rebel leader of that era who was eventually cornered and slain in battle at the cost of a full legion of men. But some tales prove far harder to analyze. Among scholars, perhaps the best known is the forbidden legend of the Archmage Golder. Golder, that's that's not Germond, is it? Keep reading, Maud. In the dawning days of the first era, the story goes, there lived a powerful wizard by the name of Golder. Wise and just, he was well known. In the courts of King Harald, the Jarls of Skyrim, and his aid and counsel were sought by man and mare alike. And then he was murdered. Some say one of his sons killed him. Others that King Harald, jealous of his power, gave the order. But Galder's three sons fled into the night, pursued by a company of Harald's best warriors and the Lord Germund, 
the king's personal battle mage. A great chase ensued from the wilds of the reach to the glacial north. One brother is said to have perished in the ruins of Folgunther at the foot of solitude. The others were run to ground soon thereafter. Once it was done, King Harald ordered every record of their murders destroyed. Golder's name and deeds were struck from the rolls of history. Even today, few sources remain. No bard will tell the tale. But perhaps the truth yet remains in some ancient ruin waiting to be unearthed. For nothing is ever truly forgotten. Nice read, Mort. Thank you. So I guess if this be the Hall of Gearmund, then this will probably be about that Golder thing, right? Right, Mort. I don't think we'll be encountering some rebel leader with a flaming sword or a pale woman down there. At least, uh, I don't think so. There are no stairs. Um... If we drop here, I don't think we'll be able to get out. Well, as no dungeons have usually proven, they should have a back door, a secret passage, an exit somewhere else. Are you sure? No? <sighs> Fine. I wonder if Vals will follow us down. You know what? Um, Faust might not follow us down, so... Um, sorry, Vals. Uh, but this is for your own good, you know? I don't want to lose you. You're kind of helpful. Alright. You go first. Whoa! Alright. Come on, everyone! The last one in is a rotten... Egg! Ow! Ow! I hit hard. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. I need healing. Where's Vals? Oh, and we can get stronger. Nice. Where's Vals? Oh, there he is. <laughs> can we hit him? Uh... All right. <laughs> Where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh. Is there an enemy nearby? And uh, did did we raise him? Where is he? All right, he's a, he's fine. All right, what's happening? No, wah! Oh, there's a spiders. Oh. Indeed, gold ear. What was that? Vals? You surprise me with your weird spells. Anyway, we're all down here. Who are you? Oh, you're Lucian's. Oh, yes, we gave him a staff. All right, fine. Come on. Everybody out of the water, please. All right. So... Can you imagine Spiders. how many years of dust these ruins have gathered? If you piled it all up, I wonder how much it would weigh? You know, Lucian, my mind is already filled with weird things. Please don't add to them. Nice. So, more these weird things. What? Nothing. You're not a weird thing. You're just weird. 
Thank you. All right. Come on. All right. If ever I gave up being a wizard, I could become a locksmith. What's this? Very cheap shield. Steel armor. Well, might as well take it. We can enchant it. You know what? We can enchant the shield as well. We need to have things to enchant. Then we can sell them. For much more coin. Ooh, nice. Whoa. Huh. Just weird, these Nords. All right, what's this? Uh-oh. Looks like we have some puzzles again. And we have Draugr, of course. Well, it wouldn't be a Nord 2 without Draugr. Wake up! Come on! You, I see you! Ah, it's better to use two different hands instead of one hand sometimes. Anyone else? Oh, there you are. There. <laughs> I love zapping people. Whoa! Alright. Anyone else? Is that it? Well. Let's have a little bit of light. So we can see things in... Oh, thank you, Goldier. Alright. So we have pegs here. Another here. Skeever tail. Why did I take that? I think it has something to do with this. Snake. Fish. Bird. Fish, bird, fish, fish, snake, bird, fish. Huh. Look at this bird. Fish, I think. Bone spirit, what's this? Casts a vengeful spirit that homes in on the target and explodes for 57 points of magic damage. Oh, it's an anti-undead spell. Uh, it's a restoration spell. I didn't know there were spells like this with the healers. Well, we should not underestimate restoration mode. Why not take it? Why not? Healing is always good. And these Unconventional restoration spells are. Huh. Whoa. Alright. Really? You were you're going to kill someone for a for a minor soul gem. Is it laughing? The damn skull is laughing. It's just your imagination, Mort. I think this is fish. And bird. bird fish. No, I think this is snake. This is... This should be fish. 
I think that's it. All right, ha, I'm a natural. All right, is there anything else here? Maybe we missed something? No, all right. Keep an eye out for traps. The ancient Nords could be tricky. <clears throat> yes, yes, we should. That's, that's really a uh, useful thing. Alright. Uh oh. Oh, come on. Don't want to come inside here. Come on. Ow. I think having a bolt in each hand is better than just one bolt, eh? Huh? Someone's up there. I think. I can hear one. Everyone get in here! Useful companions, all of you. Right. Stamina, leather strips, goblets. Oh. There's someone up there. You know what? I think. Let's use that new spell. Ah, oh, we have to see him? Doesn't just home in? Damn, alright. Useless then. Alright, where is he? Oh, there he is. Ow! All right, ow. Yes, we, we are really making the use of our companions right now. All right. Ha. Now, Tis, do you like my armor or not? Oh, it certainly is quite useful. Where are our comp mm. Anyway. Oh! A Paldimot? This is Lord Germont. Um, before anything, apparently we're still in danger. Oh! Oh! What the hell? How did you. Alright, um. Don't do that! Suddenly popping up. Alright. Oh. There's still enemies nearby. Oh, there you are. Ah! Ah! Alright. <laughs> Of. Well, she got over the skeevers rather quickly. Never bite the hand that likes you. Go on an expedition to Skyrim, they said. It'll be fun, they said. There won't be any horrible ancient Nordic zombies, they said. Lucian, get a room. Um, I think, uh, yes. Archmage Kiermund, I presume. I wonder if anyone's ever been here. Yes. Here. What, um, rather uncouth way of uh, burying the noble man. Godfall. 
Heavy shield. Ooh. I just will take it. Gavin's epitaph. Lord Gavin, Archmage of Windhelm. Lord Battle Mage to King Harold. Magus, keep thy vigil eternal. Serve now in death as you did in life. By the seals our realm preserve. From traitors three and their charm of strife. Traitors three. That's the brothers Galder. So even in death he's serving by lying here. These Nords really don't like mages, don't they? No, they... They seem to just treat us as instruments. Well, screw them. I'm not going to be serving any stupid Jarl or King. So, Jarl Balgraf isn't bad. Ooh, nice. Invisibility potion. Right, um, How is your anything sense of that navigation? we can... Because I'm not entirely sure I can remember the way out. Can we... Oh, come on. Lesser souls. I think you should drop those to free those souls. They are best used for grand souls. Alright. We could use these other ones. Alright. Just... <coughs> Get our skill up. I want more the shield. All right. Every little bit helps. And now these black soul gems. We drop them. Fly, souls, fly. You are free! Now where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are. Alright. Alright, empty. <coughs> so, before we head on further in, it's time to get stronger. Alright. I guess... A bit more magicka? All right. So, how many perks? We have two. So, what do we use them for now, Tis? Well, conjuration. We could take, well, fire ritual. Not that useful right now. Corpse gas, if your reanimated undead is destroyed while on fire, Within 30 seconds, it explodes, dealing up to 300 points of fire damage to targets. Not so useful right now. Skeleton Mages, the second perk. Able to create Skeleton Mages for fire, frost, shock, poison, drain armor, or stagger at a bone altar. You may choose their element at the time of creation. That is interesting, but not for right now so we don't have anything else I guess nothing all right for distraction no we don't have anything yet we've only left these we could take frostfall and then we can take crystallize Frost spells freeze the blood of their targets, halting stamina regeneration for 5 seconds. If the targets are not resistant to frost, frost spells also reduce armor by 125 points for 5 seconds. Hmm. That's something that we could take. Or we could go somewhere else. I was thinking of taking this. Vigilant. First ward you cast in combat costs no magicka to maintain. So we'll be able to have a ward up quite indefinitely. That would be useful. We could try it, Mort. 
And I didn't see uh, something else aside from that. There's Edge Walker. Restoration spells are up to 30% more powerful if the recipient is below half health. Hmm. I don't care to be at half health. How burial your attacks and restoration spells and effects are 20% more powerful against undead. We're not a priest who specializes against undead. Alteration. Mage armor, protection spells are more stronger. If not where are oh, nah. Philosopher's stone no. Spellbait, no, nothing, nothing here. Enchanting. Well, we still need one more point to get to 60, then we can get this. So we'll save this for later. Anything else? Heavy armor block to add. We could put something into speech. Because here. Sell items for more. Hmm. If we take this, we could take this. Shouting restores health, magic, and stamina. And you gain speech experience when shouting. This might be useful because I shout all the time. Hmm. Might be useful. I don't know what to take. Why not take the destruction parks on, and that restoration park? Alright, for now I guess. Where is it? That's... But I don't think we have a ward. Do we have a ward? We don't have a ward, so I guess we'll just save it for another time. You know what? Might as well start up here. Take Frostfall. And... Hmm. Frostfall, let's... Let's start ourselves up. Yes, I want to take this gem dust because we want this eventually. Alright. Alright. Hello. Uh oh. Gold deer and Lydia. Finally, what are you doing here, Vals? You should be in there, you know. Good work, good work. Where is he? All right. Ooh, nice shield. I should give that to someone. Oh, look! I think Lydia is wearing a pair of these. We'll enchant them and give them to her. All right. Huh. Whoop! As I was pulling it, I saw these holes. What the hell? Oh. Ah, Lucian was right. These Nords can be tricky. Here's the bastard who was up above us. Fairly cut and dried. I'm not liking what I'm hearing. And there's another chap. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> 
That's what happens when you're not patient. Lucian, don't run into the swinging blades, please. I'd have thought that was kind of obvious. Oh. Anything here? Nothing. Uh-oh. Now this looks kind of ominous. Everyone, get in here. I am not liking the look of this place. Oh! Whoa! 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 whoa. All right. Well, look, you look pretty ominous. What? Whoa! Uh oh! All right. Whoa! Shouting. He has powers of the tomb. This is the real one. Ah. Oh. Whoa. Look at this. Golder amulet. That's only one piece of three, Mort. A fine prize, though. And this... Enchanted... Be bound here, Sigdis, murderer, betrayer. Condemned by your crimes against realm and lord. May your name and your deeds be forgotten forever. And the charm which you bear be sealed by our ward. So his name was Sigdis, eh? I wonder what his other brother's names are. Jack and Frank. <laughs> um, uh, Lucian. Do we, strictly speaking, actually need Lydia with us? I mean, I'm sure Dragon's Reach could use another defender. <sighs> Take this. Whatever you say, boss. Of course, whatever I say. That. I think that's better than the Dwarven Bow. So, what are you using? Are we still using that? Well, yes, it's far better. And it's got historical significance. Wait, maybe we should... Nah, it's fine. I mean, it absorbs magicka, so Lucian can use it. I was thinking of giving it to Goldier Let's get since moving. he's a Nord, but nah, he already has a nice bow. Alright. Oh, Vals. You're fine. Come on. Are those others... I think those other copies of him were just illusions. Chicky, chicky. Alright. So... There are two other brothers that we have to find and kill to get their pieces of the amulet. That would be reasonable to assume. Ah, treasure hunt then. Ooh, nice. 
Nice, I could have used this earlier. Anti soldier, why not? Bosmer bracers. Ah, as I said, we can enchant them. Our current circle is actually quite awesome already, well let's... Orcish helmet. Hey! Maybe someone can wear this after we enchant it. So our current circlet Ah oh, well, it's just too it's much better. Uh we'll just sell this. Maybe we could give it to Lucian. Anyway, are, you, are we boring you, Goldier? Come on, I'll teach you all to a drink at the at the inn before we leave. If we die here, do you think we And stay here dead? we go. Perhaps nice. Not to think about it. All right. Um, sorry, friend. Eh, you wouldn't have liked the treasure anyway. Alright. One more Nordic tomb. Crushed. <sighs> Did you see that? Anyway, ah, we got so much stuff to go after this horn of Jurgen Windcaller, word walls, and now this golder amulet. Oh yes, and there's that rueful axe for Barbus and Clavicus Vile. So much to do. But of course, that all pales in comparison to the task we have at hand. And which task is that, Mort? Getting to Riften and having a tour of the Blackbriar Meadery. Oh, brother. <laughs>